In trying times like these, we're thankful for each other and padded carpeting. An abundance of clean clothing, along with an abundance of willing helpers around the house. Plenty of good food to share. Plenty of quality time together. And quality time together still as a church family. I'm so thankful that God has given us the technology to stay connected with friends and family during this pandemic. Pastor Stephen and Katie, the worship team, Dee, Andrea, and all who are instrumental in enabling us to worship together, participate in VBS, and ask anything via YouTube, and Bible studies using Zoom. This year, probably one of the things I'm most thankful for is the fact that everything we went through this spring with live streaming and all that, that we are able to go back to having live church again and youth group all that. This is Barb Holland. I'm thankful for being cancer free this year after a major surgery last year. Thankful for my God, my country, my faith, and my family. Hello, Hi View family. We just wanted to share what we're thankful for uh, the ability to be expectant parents this year as well as for me to become uh, self employed. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to, to slow down and reflect on what's truly important. Hey, Highview family. I'm thankful for you guys. A year of change. Some good, some bad, some sad. Um, some of the changes that went on, we had uh, five moves, one industrial, four residential. We had two surgeries. We lost a horse. We gained one. We had a wedding. We had an engagement. And probably a couple of cases of COVID. And, but the one thing that never changes, I am thankful that God remains and His Word the same all the time. His sovereignty and His promises. Thank you and Happy Thanksgiving. Love you. Rose family is thankful that in 2020 we get to eat again together as a family most nights. What do I have to be thankful for? Jesus saved me and I'm going to heaven. What do I not have to be thankful for? But in addition, I'm certainly thankful for all the blessings that God has given me. My health, my wife, my friends, my family. I'm overwhelmed with all the things that I've been given. So I honestly don't have anything not to be thankful for. Hi, hi View. Hello, hi View. This year in 2020, the Sharp family is thankful for the house. our new house. We are very thankful to God for his provision for our family. Hi, hi View. We are thankful for having a lot of extra time to spend with our family members. Exactly. I'm thankful for our new granddaughter. Well, 2020 has been quite a year, but we are thankful for our church. We're thankful that we can meet here. Um, we've been thankful for our family and how they brought us through this time. Yeah, I've been thankful just like what Wendy had said. We've had a lot of trials and tribulations this year, and uh, we're thankful that everything's getting better for this coming uh, together. And we're thankful. We thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Right. Hi there, Hi View family. Uh, I just wanted to say that God has blessed us so much this year. We have a healthy family, and we are so blessed to be able to still be together at church, whether um, there or on video. So I hope you all have a blessed Thanksgiving. As the world's 2020 woes swirl around us, we feel enveloped in God's peace and joy. So we thank Him for His faithfulness and the assurance of His presence and His love no matter what. 
and we wish a blessed Thanksgiving for our Highview family. This year, I am thankful for the youth group, uh, for all of the fun laughs and encouragement, uh, even when we had to be virtual. Hello, this is Cheryl Gansky. Um, what am I thankful for? Well, for sure, the live stream services during the pandemic has really helped Harvey and I through this time. So I thank everybody that supported that from Pastor Stephen, Katie, and the people that do the video at church. That's been great. And I wish everybody at our Highview family happy Thanksgiving. As I think about 2020, I am so thankful for what God has done in the Highview Church family. In spite of the fact that this has been one of the strangest years that we have had together, uh, the pandemic has not stopped us from staying connected together, the pandemic has not stopped us from worshiping together, and the pandemic has not stopped us from growing together. And so I am so thankful this year for what God has done and what He continues to do in the Highview Church family.